Q&A time. Holy crap. Hey everybody, my name is Edson and welcome. What you're watching right now is a 2000 subscriber Q&A video. Um, I promised that, well, I said that I was going to do this and I'm actually recording this the day before. Um, so it's not like weeks in advance like I normally do with video recordings. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, so let's get into the question. First question comes from Keza who asks, how is Eddie doing? He's behind me, sat there, and he's asleep. So I don't really, I don't really want to wake him up. <laughs> um, I would wake him up, like pick him up and show him to the camera. But I've got Jay Russell. Um, I'll throw a picture on the screen now so yeah that's my jack russell um and yeah he's asleep at the minute um i don't really want to wake him up but he's doing good um he's awesome he still barks in my videos every now and then um and i have to cut that out uh but yeah he's a, he's annoying but he's good uh if you guys have ever owned a jack russell they are very active and yeah um <laughs> so yeah he's doing all right and raster asks favorite game of all time um now i've answered this question before um on one of my pre previous q a's which was ages ago that's why a few of these questions are repeats um and basically i've got two favorite games um i've got one for single player one for multiplayer because that's just how it goes i think uh you can't really favor one over the other the single player experience probably red dead redemption um and that sort of goes into a little bit of co-op as well uh, with the undead nightmare dlc but when red dead, red dead redemption uh, dropped on the Xbox 360. I wasn't expecting much, um, but obviously it was a change of pace on GTA, so I decided to try it, and I loved it. It's my favourite game of all time. Love the single player. Hope they do another one. If they do, I'm going to buy the crap out of that and play the crap out of that. Um, and yeah, it was just awesome. I loved that game. Um, my favourite multiplayer game of all time it was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, um, and that is because I was in my first year of college when that dropped, and me and my three mates... Um, still my three like best mates um we all bought that game on release day played the crap out of it and we had like many 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 days of play time on that game um for like the next year we played that non-stop it was it was awesome i, I loved that time uh, because the first time that me and my mates got hooked on a game and like played it loads um and it was just so much fun uh, so i really enjoyed that that was my favorite multiplayer game of all time so on to the next question Shelby asks, how awesome is Shelby? Meh. Shelby also asks, what games do you want to play in the future? Um, and I've got a few games planned. I may as well update you guys on these. I can't really say all of them, um, but I've got a few that I can say. Trials Fusion, me and Pete have bought that. Game Rats is buying that soon, but the multiplayer's not out yet, so we can't play it together yet anyway. Um, but the multiplayer should be out uh, May sometime. Um, not too sure when. Uh, it should be like a month after release day, so probably mid-May. Um, we're going to be playing a load of multiplayer on that. Uh, Worms, I'm going to be playing with those two as well. Um, also, I think I'm going to be doing a co-op with Pete on Dead Rising 3 in the summer. Um, I'm also, what else? More Gary's Mod. Um, there's, there's, I've got a load recorded that's coming out next week and the week after, and the week after that. Um, and probably some more is going to be recorded of that because that's super fun. Um, and I think that's pretty much all I can update you guys on. There's a few other things that I've got planned, but I can't really say anything yet. Um, one of them you guys will probably know in a couple of weeks' time, and that's uh, part of the update video that's going out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's some of the games that I'm going to be playing in the future. Um, also, Don't Starved as well. Um, I'm going to be doing a, another playthrough of that. Um, I'll probably die straight away again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to give that another crack um, and see how I do on that. Um, so yeah, that's some of the games that are going to be coming out on the channel in the future. And then George asks, what inspired you to start making YouTube videos? And there's sort of like three events um, that inspired me to start making YouTube videos. Number one, I was back in playing Modern Warfare 2, uh, my favorite multiplayer game of all time. Um, I could not get a nuke. And I wanted to be the first out of me and my three, well, me and my three other friends to get a nuke. And I went on YouTube, searched how to get a nuke. And I found a video by the name of someone called Hutch. You guys might know who this is. Uh, one of the OGs from Machinima Respawn. And through that, I found Machinima, found all those sorts of videos, from CNANs, Woody's Gamer Tag, FPS Cal, all those sorts of people. Um, and that's where I sort of found out about YouTube, the gaming side of YouTube. Then after that, I very much um, got into sort of like the Call of Duty side of YouTube. If you guys don't know, my channel, this channel originally started uh, before I uploaded my first ever commentary video, which is my first ever video that you guys can actually see on my channel. 
Um, I did montages on this channel, uh, Call of Duty montages. And I basically used an editing tutorial by the, uh, a guy called Igel2010. And that's where I sort of got into YouTube. And I think I got something like 130 subscribers. So if you guys, are, if most of you, nearly all of you, probably 99% of you didn't even know this. But I started off um, before 2012 on this channel creating Call of Duty montages. And actually, I gained 130 something subscribers and then deleted all of those videos. And then in December, I decided to make the change um, and started doing commentaries, started doing Let's Plays and stuff like that. Um, and that is where my channel sort of like started again. Um, and yeah, the reason that I did that, this is the sort of like third stage, was because at the time I was in my, um, no, it it wasn't sort of like at that time that I, I discovered who In The Little Wood was, but Yogg's cast, Martin, also known as In The Little Wood, um, also known as Martin, also known as In The Little Wood, that sort of stuff, um, he was in my university uh, sort of course. Um, he was in year three as I was in year one. Um, and this was like obviously pulling it back to like 2010 when I started. Uh, was that when I started university? That's when I started university, back in the 2010, I think it was. Um, and basically, during his like final major projects or something, I think it was, he that's when he was doing his first parody form this way. And that's obviously when he blew up uh, on YouTube. And because uh, it got uploaded to the Yogscast main channel. Um, and I didn't know who he was, but I remember one of our tutors came in and showed us this video that he'd made, like the day it went out on YouTube, saying how awesome this was. And I was like, I've got, because I was obviously into gaming videos at the time on YouTube, watching Machinima and stuff. I went and checked him out and just found this whole other side of YouTube, a side that I really wanted to get into. And obviously a few years down the line, when I decided that Call of Duty wasn't really my my sort of thing anymore, um, that I wanted to start off doing actually doing Let's Plays and stuff like that, it was mainly because of him, uh, because I've, I've watched these videos for like the previous two years. Um, so yeah, Yogg's Cast Martin was probably like the third reason, the final push is to sort of why I started doing this uh, back in December 31st of 2012. Um, so yeah, you've got him to thank. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's uh, sort of why I started making YouTube videos. Mr. Hydra asks, what do you think of your channel so far? And what are your future goals for the channel? Um, and my channel so far, I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm happy with the people that are subscribed. I'm happy with the people that I'm entertaining with my videos. I'm entertaining myself as well, and I'm having fun whilst doing it. So it's just one hell of a hobby. Um, so yeah, it is awesome. I'm really happy with it, really proud of it, and it's something that I really enjoy doing. Future goals, um, just carry on doing it. I, I really love doing this. I don't really want to stop it. It's a welcome break from sort of like real life, uh, doing work and stuff like that. Um, and it's just something that I really love doing, and I'm going to carry on doing it. As long as I'm enjoying it, I'm going to carry on doing it, and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy that too. Um, so yeah, that's just my future goal, just carry on doing it and enjoy it. Next question comes from Controls Studios saying, how long have you been doing YouTube? Um, and the real answer to this question is two years and, I think it's two years and four months, um, nearly four months, at the end of April it'll be four months. But when I started doing Let's Plays and I uploaded my first commentary, uh, which is sort of where the, the, the main side of this channel was born, uh, that was actually a year and four months ago. Um, so really, I've been doing it for a year and four months. Um, so yeah, that's how long I've been doing YouTube. Um, and yeah, it's awesome. Autumn asks, best advice for a YouTuber starting out? Um, now, I actually uploaded a video and there's a plane going... There's a plane flying across. Hopefully, you guys can't hear that. Um, but yeah, I uploaded a video probably two months ago or something. I think it was in February um, of stuff that I'd learned in the first year that I wish people had told me on YouTube, it was like 10 tips for new YouTubers, stuff that I wished people had told me when I started back, when I when I actually started doing this whole thing, um, like a year and four months ago. And it was just like 10 tips and it went down really well. Loads of people found it uh, quite interesting and helpful. So I'm gonna throw a link to that in the description below. Um, so you guys go and check that out. Uh, but the main thing from that was just to have fun. If you're having fun, you're showing that in your YouTube videos, then you everyone that's watching your videos is gonna have fun as well. Um, so yeah, but if you do want to go and watch that full length video, uh, the 10 tips that I give to new YouTubers starting out, link to that in the description below, um, go check it out, It's uh, it went, like I say, it went down really well and hopefully that'll help you. Um, so yeah, final video comes from Ability Drain who says, what's the biggest challenge you've faced on YouTube so far? Um, and the biggest challenge I would probably have to say 
um, was during my first six months uh, from January 2013 to July 2013, which is when I finished university. So it was in like the last six months of my university course, trying to find the time and balance the time and manage the time well. Um, I was not very good at time management at the time. Knowing now what I did back then um, and what I think I did wrong with time management and everything, uh, I, I reckon I could go back to that same situation if I knew what I knew now and do it just perfectly fine without being stressed at all. Uh, but just trying to find the time to do YouTube and stuff like that during those first six months, it was a struggle and I really wish I could have found more time and knowing what I know now, I probably could have. Uh, but it is what it is and I don't have that struggle anymore and I'm thankful for that. But that was probably the biggest struggle that I faced on YouTube. Um, so yeah, that is that. And that is it. That's all the questions that I'm going to answer for my 2,000 subscriber Q&A. Um, sorry if anyone uh, anyone's questions were missed out. Um, I couldn't answer them all. There's a lot of questions that were answered. But what I'm going to do for you guys, any questions that you do want answering, or if you didn't know about this on Twitter when I actually linked it out, so I've been linking it out the past few days, if you missed it, um, or if your question wasn't answered, leave a comment down below, and I'll answer every single question that gets left below. Um, so you guys can check the comment section below for some more Q&A questions um, if anyone does want to ask any more questions. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Like I said, guys, thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers. It means the world to me, and I really can't thank you guys enough. You guys are awesome. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for subscribing for, uh, to me. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give it a like. Please give it a comment. Make sure you check out tomorrow's video. It's probably the biggest update video on my channel so far. Um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. <laughs>